If you're ready to delve into a world of mystery and suspense, I invite you to put on your headphones and turn off the lights. Let the darkness surround you as you immerse yourself in the tale that's about to unfold. Are you ready to embark on this journey with me? Then let's begin. The family of four, the Smiths, had just moved into a large and beautiful home in the countryside. The house had been on the market for years, as it was rumored to be haunted. The Smiths had brushed aside the rumors and were thrilled to have found such a wonderful home at an affordable price. As they were settling in, they stumbled upon a dusty old trunk in the attic. Inside the trunk, they found an ornate and beautiful vase. The intricate patterns on the ceramic caught their attention, and they knew they had found something truly special. The family placed the vase in their living room, where it quickly became a focal point. It held flowers in such a way that it made the room feel brighter and more welcoming. They felt lucky to have found such a treasure, which quickly became a cherished part of their home. But, as time went on, strange things began to happen around the house. The family members started having vivid nightmares that left them feeling exhausted and disoriented. They started seeing strange movements out of the corners of their eyes, but when they turned to look, there was nothing there. They also began to feel as though they were being watched and started to see their reflections in the vase in twisted and distorted ways. As the days went on, things only got worse. The family members started to hear voices whispering from the vase, telling them to do things they would never normally consider. They became increasingly paranoid and fearful and started to become isolated from each other, each one consumed with their fears and anxieties. It wasn't long before the family realized that the vase was not just an antique, but something much more sinister. They started seeing apparitions in the vase, figures that seemed to be trapped inside the ceramic. They began to understand that the vase was cursed and that it had been passed down through generations of families, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The family sought the help of a local historian, who told them that the vase was the creation of a notorious sorcerer in the 17th century, who had imbued it with dark magic that could twist the minds of those who gazed into it. The sorcerer had disappeared for his crimes, but the vase had remained, passing from one family to another, leaving a trail of broken lives and shattered minds in its wake. The historian told the smiths that the only way to break the curse was to find the sorcerer's tomb and perform a ritual to banish the dark forces from their home. The family set out on a dangerous journey to find the tomb, facing numerous obstacles and supernatural threats along the way. Finally, they arrived at the tomb, which was hidden deep in the woods. They performed the ritual, and as they did, the earth began to shake and the skies darkened. The curse was lifted, and the sorcerer's spirit was finally put to rest. After returning from the tomb, the Smith family found that things had improved. The vase, which had been shattered during the ritual, had not pieced itself back together, and the dark energy that had once been contained within it was now gone. The family started to feel more at ease, and the apparitions in the vase disappeared. They had finally rid themselves of the curse and could enjoy their home without fear. The Smith family learned the hard way that sometimes, the cost of unleashing dark magic can be too high to bear, but with perseverance and help, they were able to break the curse and live happily ever after.